We make the strings louder. Alright guys, uh, welcome to part two of Aaron's uh, circle track car. Uh, for the first kind of part of this video, or most of this video, I'm actually out of town. I was, I'm in Florida, but uh, here's a little basically me cutting to the night before, leaving. We wired up some stuff, and uh, and yeah, so enjoy Aaron kind of yeah. leading you along for, through bit. this like last week. Hey guys, so we've started wiring this thing, making no, some we, progress. We, you gotta tell him. Part two, yeah. Round. Yeah, part two of the circle jerk car. Um, you know, but since they talk so much smack about the circle jerks, I was telling them how uh, drifting's like uh, ice skating. Which it is. Yeah, it is. And, and Dave's over here working on the uh, shroud again. Actually, I can actually weld. Yeah. So, you couldn't get the material to weld. This fucking like, who knows what the fuck it is. So now we've had to uh, come up with a little different plan for this. Well, this is like two different, it has to be two different kinds of aluminum because if you try to join them, it just fucking like turns into like some black shit. So, yeah. All right, so I got this thing kind of wired super, super quick. Um, hooked up the battery to the starter and hooked up the little starter signal wire up to it. These things are super simple to wire basically this thing's already kind of wired into itself so all it needs is a, a basically a positive from the battery and then the tack the tachometer um, so that was really simple to wire I just kind of wired in real quick this little fuse distribution block he wants to do some lights and stuff a little bit later um, right now I just did it on this uh, this kill switch and this is going to the the starter um, needs tightened a little bit but uh, yeah so basically that gives it power you can see a little red light on right now turn this off Turns kills power to that. Um, yeah, so it cranks right now. And uh, so yeah, it cranks. Um, but yeah, that was just super simple. Really easy to wire, just a few little basic things. Um, this little ignition switch, that basically that just gives power to the coil. Uh, this kind of has power for the most part, so you can crank it without having power to the coil. Actually, I lied, um, but, uh, but yeah. So yeah, it uh, should uh, should start if we if we sprayed some starting fluid in it. Uh, this is basically a new motor, so I don't know if we if we want to do that or if we want to pour a little bit of of uh, fuel in the carb just to see if it'll. Yeah. Starting fluid's fine. Uh, do what? Probably shouldn't. Starting fluid's fine. I mean, it it'll if you want to hear it go. Like like two seconds. Yeah. But I don't know if you. I gotta read the manual again. I don't know if you need to set the valve latch first before you. Yeah. Get it going. So yeah, it's uh, it's ghetto wired right now, but it's it's enough because because uh, basically right now as you guys are watching this, I should have already been should be back from Florida right now, but uh, this is Wednesday night. Our plane leaves uh, tomorrow morning at eight. Gonna be in Florida for a couple days, basically till Monday, and uh, you know the, we just got her painted. Aaron wasn't here last night. I worked on the super a little bit. Didn't get enough video for a movie on that, but uh, yeah. Anyhow, this, uh, this thing's getting close. Uh, so I mean, he, he just really needs to hook up some grounds to it. Dave's over here welding the fan shroud, making some crazy shit on it. Um, but yeah, so I think that's. Uh, it's, I think it's wired enough for me to leave, so they can kind of continue some shit. At least I'll be able to get it started and uh, and running and stuff, and you know, at least watch the the oil pressure and the coolant temp. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think that works for now. Hey guys, so I'm on the way to the shop. Um, we're gonna try and get the motor started today. Get it broken in. Um, I found the fitting I needed for the fuel pump, and I also picked up some belts because the pulley kit I got from Speedway with the matched belts that they sent me aren't long enough so we'll get that going and uh, 
So basically breaking in the crate motor, you gotta get the motor up to operating temperature, pull the valve covers and set the valve lash. Um, and then uh, turn the motor back on after you set the valve lash and run it through varying loads. We'll go over that um, when we're about to do it. Trevor's not here, he's in uh, Florida with my sister. Um, my sister. Um, so yeah, anyway, we'll, uh, we'll try and have this thing running before uh, Trevor gets back from his little vacay. So kind of give you guys an update on where we're gonna be with after we get this thing going. Kind of have the seat mocked up in here. Got to get that mounted. Got to get that B&M ratchet shifter mounted. Got to get the battery anchored. Got to get a window net put in here. I have some leaf springs that we're going to be putting on it. Shocks. Tell, tell them why you need the uh, window net. Huh? Tell them why you really need the window net. Yeah, I need it. Why do I need it? Yeah. That's just what the rules say. So I got the rebuild kit right here for the rear end. I'm gonna run five 13s in it. The ring and pinions in there. I see some of you uh, saying in the comments that they don't see any lead in here. That'll probably be the last thing we do. And we'll also need to kind of fab a dash to mount all the gauges and switches still. What are you doing, Dave? Just caught that clamp. Okay, so we're getting ready to fire this thing up. Oh, fuck you. I got some gauges set up here so I can watch the water temp and oil pressure. And my RPMs, since the throttle linkage isn't hooked up yet, to the pedal. That should be gonna work. Gotta run this thing for 30 minutes. We've already primed the oil system. David finished his shroud up. And it's going to be loud as shit in here because there's only manifolds on this thing. So hopefully it wants to cooperate. Okay, so we're going to try this again. The uh, distributor jumped, so we got it set back at top dead center. So take two. Fuck it. Try light on fire. It's on fire. And it stopped. But I backfired up the exhaust pretty hard. Off the exhaust? Yeah. Oh, it was flaming out the exhaust. Oh, shit. So me and Dave went and got some pizza, and I figured while we're working on a roundy round car, I should get some NASCAR scratch tickets. All right, so we're gonna try this thing a third time. Kyle came over to school me in uh, timing this thing since I couldn't do it. So we're going to try for the third time now.
we just set the valve lash um, hot, which was kind of strange, I guess. Now we're going to time it at 32 degrees before top dead center at 4,000 RPM. Got the motor broken in, got the valve lash set, um, got the motor timed. I, uh, I lost a little bit of the footage of it uh, initially firing up and actually the motor being ran for about 30 minutes um, between 2000 and 2500 RPM. Um, my iPhone decided it would just stop recording because my memory is full. Um, but I'm shooting with one of Trevor's other cameras so he should be able to edit some of that stuff in. Um, and the same with uh, when we were timing the engine. The video just cut out at the end there. Um, I'll, uh, I'll record it, um, giving a couple uh, little womps on the throttle. Okay guys, I think that's going to be it for the night. Um, still got some more things to button up on the car. A few things I didn't mention is uh, still need to hook up the power steering pump, wire the alternator, one wire alternator. Um, can't move it yet because we got to hook up the shifter. And we really haven't broken in the motor yet. We still have to Drive the vehicle at varying speeds and loads for the first 30 laps. Be sure not to use a lot of throttle or high RPMs. Run 5 to 6 medium throttle accelerations to about 4,500 RPM, followed by letting off in gear and coasting back down to 2,000 RPM. Run a couple hard throttle accelerations to about 5,000 RPM, followed by letting off in gear and coasting back down to 2,000 RPM. Change the oil on the filter. Then drive another 25 laps without high RPMs below 5,000 RPM. Hard use or extended period of high loading. And change the oil again. So those are going to be some expensive oil changes. Um, but it's a money pit. So I'm fine with that. Um, that's going to be it guys. I'm going to plug my Instagram right here. Supernova underscore 24. Since uh, Jesse got the hook up with uh, a plug. So I guess it's kind of my turn. But uh, thanks for hanging out guys. What's going on? How you doing? Look at this car. So uh, I'm back. I was in uh, I was in the old Florida. You guys seen? Uh, went and hung out with Adam LZ. Did some vlogs with my girly friend. But now we're back. Yeah, we're back. I'm um, ready to finish her. This thing actually runs and drives. I actually seen it run and drive. That was kind of cool. Um, the Saab runs and drives too. But I'm just changing the oil, doing some little nitpicky stuff on it. But uh, yes, we're finally gonna throw the hood on this thing. And uh, then it'll look like a care. Then it'll look like a care again. Care. Ty's over here cleaning his girlfriend's care. I'm cleaning my girlfriend's care. See, here's the, the headlight that was in it. But uh, you guys probably don't care about the slob. New sob who dis. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dude, you need to make a sticker. Um, we're just messing with the power steering pump on this guy right now new chevy who dis yep getting closer though
messing the whole power steering. So, uh, yeah, put a little bit more floor dry in here. While he's out there kind of letting that power steering system bleed, I went ahead and kind of polished this a little bit. Um, hold on, I'll turn off that. So check this out. I did a little bit of polishing with this, uh, this finesse. It. It's like a scratch resistant clear coat stuff. And uh, so you can see up here, I, I basically I just hit this with the clay bar real quick. You can see like how shitty it is. I mean, there's just a ton of stuff in the paint and then you can go right here. See, there's like some little like rock, like little nicks and stuff in the paint, but I mean, it, it smoothed out pretty good. Um, looks pretty nice. So that's actually like red. I basically just did this little section right here and then uh, didn't touch that right there. But uh, but yeah, so that's that's a little update for the Saab. Uh, definitely gonna do, be doing like a full polish on this whole thing. Um, but the, you know, everything in the interior is all back together. Got some floor mats in it. And uh, gonna go get the inspection for it tomorrow. Yeah, I'm gonna order that battery. I'm gonna order a battery box tomorrow morning and mirrors and shit. Oh, like mm -hmm. one of them race car mirrors or whatever? Yeah, that just clamps to the roll cage. Yeah. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much part two of this whole circle track thing. Uh, you can see my wiring. It, this is still a temporary thing. Um, basically, just waiting for to do a little dash panel or whatever thing in there. Um, you can see you got the seat sitting in there, but need to permanently mount the seat. Um, belts. What else? Yeah, seat belts or the, the harnesses, battery box little things like that. I think he's, he wanted to change the, yeah, the, the leaf springs. He wanted to change the, the rear gear before you went to like the gearing in the rear end before you went to the, yeah. So I think we're just going to run out of time, like to put the 513 in the rear. Cause what, so it, it is March. March second. 11th is the practice. Yeah. It's the second and the first practice is so the 11th. So we'll, we'll run out with the 456s in the rear. Just, Cause I'm not gonna wrap the RPMs too high on it. Just kind of go easy, break it in, then uh, bring it back, change the oil, and then we'll get the right gear in the rear. And then it's yeah, kind of kind of break her open, wide open. Kind of test it out and see. It. So you put a promotional TV sticker on there, and uh, and yeah. So hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed Aaron kind of taking over in this video. Uh, a lot of you guys in the last video said you liked like actually him kind of filming me working on it. Um, so hopefully we can kind of get that with some other projects. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the Saab updates, but uh, but yeah, I was in Florida most of this week, kind of hanging out, did some some vlog stuff on uh, my Trevor Jamison channel. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll put a little thing up here. Um, yeah, appreciate you guys watching. And uh, this thing, it's definitely nice that it, it runs and drives and it's already broken in and stuff. So hopefully it should be kind of leaving the shop this weekend and he's going to be doing some other stuff with corner weight in it and doing all that. Um, when are you get when are you getting tires? Um, probably when I go to the track because you have to buy them from the track. Oh. I'm gonna buy some wheels this weekend. Um, so I need to get a helmet and Hans device. So I gotta catch all that stuff. Um, yeah. I'm working with a guy right now to do the numbers and the I'm gonna stripe it like my truck. So I'm gonna pay him Friday and then and then uh, it'll start to look like a care. Yeah. Nice nice circle track care. So yeah, uh, again, appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to follow him wherever he said to, to follow if you guys are interested in the whole circle track thing. But uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on Thursday.